In this video, we're going to talk about how to solve linear equations involving three variables and three equations using the elimination method. So we're going to go through these two problems, number one here and number two here. You might want to take a screenshot or write these down and try and solve them on your own, and we'll go through them together. Okay, this first problem, you can see we've got three variables, three equations. We're going to use the elimination method, but first we have to pick a variable that we want to eliminate. So you either want to eliminate the x's first, the y's first, or the z's first. You want to try to pick one that's uh, easiest, but it doesn't really matter ultimately which one you pick, but you want to stick with that variable. So what I mean by that, you're, I'm going to show you, let's take equation number two here and number three here, and let's go ahead and add those together. And the reason I'm adding those together is that you can see that this positive y and this negative y, when we add uh, straight down, those are going to cancel one another out, uh, effectively eliminating the y variable. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to get 4x, we're going to get negative z, and we're going to get 2. Now we use the second and third equations here, but we need to also use that first equation as well. Sometimes students go on to try and eliminate need a different variable after that, but you want to stick with that y variable and you want to make sure you use all three equations. Now what you can do is you can either combine the first equation with the second or the first with the third, but we definitely have to use that first equation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the first equation and the second equation. Now again, if you're doing this on your own, there's more than one way to solve these problems. But at the end, you're going to get the exact same answer. So you can check that in just a moment. So we're sticking with the y's. But you can see here what I need to do, because I have a negative 3y here and a positive 1y here, that I actually need to get that second equation there to be a positive 3y, so that when I add straight down, those y's are going to cancel one another out. So I'm going to multiply that whole equation by 3, which is going to give us 3x plus 3y minus 6z equals negative 18. I'm just going to draw a line through that, and I'm going to add these two equations together to eliminate the y's. So that's going to give us 5x, the y's cancel, we get minus 5z, and equals negative 5. So now you can see we're down to two equations involving two variables, x and z. We're going to work with those two equations now, and you're probably familiar with this from Algebra 1. But let's go ahead and eliminate one of the variables here. Let's go ahead and eliminate the z's, and you can see here that I've got a negative 5z, and in this top equation I have a negative 1z. So in order to get those z's to cancel out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this equation by negative 5. And if I do that, let me put the result up here, we're going to get negative 20x positive 5z equals negative 10. And then this bottom equation, I'm just going to bring it over here, 5x minus 5z equals negative 5, and I'm going to add straight down so that those uh, z's are going to cancel out. So we're left with negative 15x equals negative 15. And if we divide by negative 15 to both sides, you can see that x is coming out to 1. So now what we want to do, we went from three variables, three equations, to two variables, two equations, down to one variable, one equation. We want to now start back substituting this x equals 1 either into this equation for x or this equation for x and we want to solve for z. I'm going to do the top equation. I'm going to say 4 times 1 minus z equals 2. So that's 4 minus z equals 2. Subtract 4 from both sides. That's going to give us negative 2. And divide by negative 1, you can see that z is equal to 2. So now we know what x and z are. We need to solve for y. I'm going to go back to these original equations here. Okay, with the three variables, three equations, and you can put it into any one of these three equations, but I'm going to put it into this middle equation because you can see here we just have one y. It's going to be a little bit easier to solve for that one y. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have uh, x, which is 1, y we don't know, and 2 times z, 2 times 2, okay, equals negative 6. So if we solve that, let's see, we've got 1 plus y minus 4 equals negative 6. Uh, y minus 3 equals negative 6, and if we add 3 to both sides, you can see that we're going to get y equals negative 3. Now, when you write your final answer, you want to write it as a triple x, y, z, alphabetical order. And so in this case, it would be x equals 1, y equals negative 3, and z is equal to 2, and that is your final result. For example number 2, were you able to solve this one on your own? 
So again, it's that same process of picking a variable and sticking with it, and you're trying to use the elimination method to cancel out either the X's, the Y's, or the Z's. Now in this problem, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with the Z's. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that first equation and that third equation, and I'm gonna add them together, because you can see that negative Z here in the top equation, positive Z in that third equation, when you add them together, they're gonna cancel one another out. So if I do that, let's see, we're gonna get x and negative 2x, which is negative 1x. y plus 2y is 3y. The z's we said they cancel, and 9 plus negative 9 is 0. Okay, great. So now we've used the first and third. We need to use that second equation, and we also need to stick with eliminating the z's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Let me go ahead and write these down uh, over here. So we've got x plus y minus z equals 9. And we've got 3x minus y plus 4z equals negative 12. Now we said we were going to stick with the z's here, but you can see that we've got 4z in the bottom equation, negative 1z in the top equation. It would be a lot better if that top equation was negative 4z, because then we could just add straight down and eliminate the z's. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply that top equation by 4. Make sure you do it to the entire equation. So that's going to give us 4x plus 4y minus 4z equals 36. Now you can see when we add straight down, 7x uh, plus 3y, the z's cancel, and we get uh, 24. Okay, so you can see we're down to two variables, two equations, and we can solve that system, which you're probably familiar with from Algebra 1. Again, we have to pick a variable to eliminate. I think I'm gonna pick the y's, because you can see this is 3y, this is 3y. All I would have to do is multiply one of these equations by negative 1. And so that's going to give us positive x, negative 3y equals 0. Make sure you multiply the whole equation by negative 1. And if I bring down this equation, other equation here, you can see that when I add straight down, the y's now are going to cancel one another out. And we get 8x equals 24. Divide by 8, and you can see we're getting x equals 3. So now we went from three variables, three equations, down to two variables, two equations, and now we're down to one variable, one equation. So now we have to make our way back up that ladder and take the x equals three and plug it into one of the two variable equations. So either here or here for x. I'll just go ahead and do uh, the one on the left there. So we're gonna do negative three plus three y equals zero, add three to both sides divide by 3, and you can see y equals 1. So now we've got x and y we need to solve for z. Again, you can go back to these original equations with three variables. You can use any one of the uh, equations. I think I'm going to just use the bottom equation. And the reason I'm picking that one is I think it's going to be a little bit easier because you just have one z there, so you won't have to divide at the end. But really, it doesn't matter. You can pick any one. So let's go ahead and do that bottom one. So we have negative 2 times x, which is 3 plus 2 times y, which is 1, plus z, we don't know, equals negative 9. So we're getting negative 6 plus 2 plus z equals negative 9. And then let's see, if you simplify, negative 4 plus z equals negative 9. Add 4 to both sides, and you can see that we're getting z is equal to negative 5. And if we write this again in alphabetical order, x, y, z, we're getting 3, 1, negative 5. Now, you can check your work by taking that 3, 1, and negative 5 and putting it into the first equation, you should get 9. The second equation should get negative 12. third equation should get negative 9. And it's a way of just uh, checking and verifying that makes all the equations true that you know you've got the correct answer. So this wraps up how to solve linear equations in three variables. Uh, if you want to see more examples, I'll put a, a, another video that you can watch that I did uh, on the screen. And if you want to dive more into these Algebra 2 type concepts, uh, I've got an Algebra 2 video course also covering all of Algebra 2 or college Algebra type topics. You can check out that course as well. I'll see you in the next video.